In the 20th Minitab tutorial, we are at the Axle Test Bench Laboratory of the Smartboard Company. This is where the dynamic load properties of the skateboard axles produced are examined. The skateboard axles are subjected to a dynamically increasing oscillating stress on the axle test bench, until the load limit is reached and the axle breaks. For us this means, that this time we are dealing with destructive material testing and therefore the respective test parts cannot be tested several times and therefore for example, repeatability or reproducibility, cannot be tested several times to determine the important measurement system parameters. In this Minitab tutorial, we will therefore get to know the so-called nested gauge R in our study, as the method of choice, in order to understand which conditions must be met as a basic prerequisite for a nested measurement system analysis to work. In this context, we will apply the industry-proven 40 to 4 rule, to ensure a sufficient sample size for a nested measurement system analysis. And using appropriate hypothesis tests as part of the nested measurement system analysis, we will evaluate whether the testers or the production batches have a significant influence on the scattering behavior of our measurement results. We will also get to know the important NDC parameter, as a quality measure for the resolution of our measurement system. We will learn to understand how we can use this key parameter to assess, whether the resolution of our measuring system is sufficiently high in terms of the standard to be used, in the context of process optimization. Using the corresponding variance components, we will then work out whether the measurement system scatter makes up an impermissibly high proportion of the total scatter, and is therefore possibly above the permissible total scatter according to the standard specification. We will examine the scattering behavior of the testers to determine whether and, if so, which of the testers makes the strongest contribution to the measurement system scatter. In this context, we will use useful graphical representations such as quality control charts and box plots, to visually identify anomalies in the scattering behavior. Based on the identified causes, we will finally be able to derive reliable recommendations for action to improve the measurement system and will also carry out a new measurement system analysis after the recommended improvement measures. The results of our improved measurement system will then be compared with the results of the original measurement system.